All right, let's get this video started. Cause I got a lot to talk about. Mm. Dame Dash on spoke out a couple times about this Diddy party and all. Yeah, I gotta react to this. So smash that like button, y'all. Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. We back here with another video. Smash that like button. You see the like button? Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. They ain't gonna hurt you. And they ain't gonna cost you. They ain't gonna do none of that. Smash the like button, it's free. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel because I don't know what you're waiting on. Keep that notification bell on so you know when I'm dropping my video. And make sure you share this video, by the way. Share this video on all platforms. But most importantly, smash that thumbs up. Smash that like button, it's free. It ain't gonna hurt or cost you. Support the channel. Try to get your membership, get your badge, join, um, join Teeny Smoke also. But we gotta talk about this Diddy. Once again, but see the difference is with this video when I'm speaking on because Dane Dash is actually talking about Diddy. And y'all remember that photo they had with Dane Dash on the bed? I don't know if it's a big white bed, all them laying on him, Jay Z, Aaliyah, Diddy, Jennifer Lopez. You see little Kim in the back too, and in, in the photo, he speaks about that because you know everybody was trying to go like go crazy on Dame, like, oh, you was at the free calls allegedly. Everything I speak on on this video also is alleged. But Dame said that he ain't go to no goddamn free calls. He said he went to the party. Left with Aaliyah that night, and they got up out of there. That photo that y'all see, Dame Dash laying on the bed, Pete Diddy, Aaliyah all in the middle. And rest in peace to Aaliyah, man. But I, 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 I got a few things I got to talk about. But one thing um, Dame Dash brought up, right, that caught my attention, had my tennis go up. Definitely got to speak about this and talk about and talk my smoke on this. He was saying, allegedly, maybe Diddy had spikes of rock bottles at the parties. Because remember, they said in the documents the baby oils was all supposed to be spiked or something, some type of drug in the baby oil. They put you, up, you put on your body and allegedly you be numbed up. This is what they said about the baby oil thing. Allegedly, you put on your body and your body get numbed up and you forget about everything. This is what they say, federalities and all this. Dan Dash is saying, yo, who's we to say this nigga probably wasn't selling spike bottles of Ciroc? Making hip hop look feminine the way it was a couple of, you know, with the young thug, with the dress and all that. You know, hip hop kind of went to like a little bit of feminine type ways. What we talking about here? Am I lying? Exactly. So we can't deny that. Kind of went a little bit. Y'all know what I mean on that. He speaks about that too. He's saying, yo, as, as Diddy was like the, the, the head, the I mean, was, was he involved in this? Like, was he spiking anybody with these goddamn drinks at his parties and having people turn into something they didn't want to be? Allegedly. That caught my attention. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Maybe he might be on to something. Maybe Diddy was doing something. Yo, I'm telling you, this junk could be deeper than what people think it is, man. I'm telling y'all. And this this is what Dame Dash speak on. This is, you know how Dame Dash be thinking. We got to react to this and we got to talk about this. And he speak on Jay-Z. I go to Jay-Z brunch and all this. First time I'm drinking dose, dose, say whatever. I get super drunk. He speaks on that. When dose say first came out. Jay-Z drink the drink that he not me that anybody be drinking on. We gotta talk about this. This is crazy. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man. Copyright fair youth disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel, on this channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair youth disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Clips and videos I play are also owned by the original creators. Let's get straight to the point, because I want to, y'all got to hear what Dame's speaking on. This is Dame Dash talking, and he speaks about the allegedly spiked bottles, not the drinks that's already on the, the drinks that's already in the cups. He's saying bottles, spiked bottles, allegedly. Is it possible them junks probably were drugged up too? Let's get to it, man. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man. Because what's crazy to me is... If his hustle is putting stuff in people's drink, he made a liquor. I mean, that's the illest shit in the world. 
that everybody was partying and you don't know what was in that drink. And if he was pause undercover gay because I didn't know it. And obviously, if he was knocking men out and they were waking up violated, he's making somebody gay that doesn't want to be gay. So I'm like, what was in them drinks? And then I'm starting to think like, damn, when did hip hop start to lose its masculinity? When did dudes, and again, no disrespect to nobody, but like tough niggas started wearing dresses and pocketbooks. Like, like, maybe that could be the reason. And I'm, you know, I'm just thinking it through. Like, maybe that could be the reason why hip hop took a turn for the feminine. Cause that shit, if homie was really putting shit in people's drinks and he's making the liquor, you know, they, you know, and again, I don't know. And I'm not even saying it to be funny, but they saying, you know, homie was putting shit in, in motherfuckers, baby oil. Bingo. So what make us think, hold on, hold on. If y'all haven't smashed that like button, you see that thumbs up? Smash that like button if you haven't smashed the like button. Do me that favor. It's free. It ain't gonna hurt or cost you. But Dane Dash got a point, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if they was lacing up baby oils allegedly, this is what they said. Man, rest in peace to Big, too, because I know Biggie Smalls up there like, God damn. I know Biggie up there like, man, listen, that's the reason why I was going to leave this nigga before he done knocked me off, allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. Because I still believe that he had, allegedly had something to do with Biggie. A sad Biggie knockoff in, in, in L.A. I mean, we're going to say it like that. Biggie getting knocked off in L.A. I allegedly think that did he knew something about it or allegedly had something to do with it. Allegedly. That's my opinion. But I know he up there like, man, that's the reason why I was going to leave that nigga. Because I done seen that early, nigga, that, allegedly. Know what I mean? I know Big probably seen the funny shit going on all this. Because they said, man, if they spiked the baby oil, what we'll make you think the bottles was a spike? What we'll make you think the drinks was a spike? What we'll make you think all that shit was a spike? What we'll make you think that? Now, he gonna bring up drink champs. Do you know that show with Nori? Where he be making you take mass of rock shots and all this? That part. Remember that? Because, you know, Puff had, you know, Diddy had um, owner of um, all that, you know, um, Revolt and all that. Y'all remember that, right? Now, he don't got that no more, so. But remember when Diddy did have Revolt, Revolt, whatever? Drink Taps had Ciroc's all over the goddamn table. Forced the niggas to drink that. He gonna speak about that, too. Let's get to this part. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Motherfuckers, baby oil. So, how could you trust that person to serve you drinks at such a, a, a big scale? So I'm remembering Nori so adamant about me get, taking a shot of Ciroc and I'm like, nah, and I brought my own. And, and now y'all can understand why I always want to make my own. So I brought my own liquor. You know what I'm saying? I was taking shots of my own. And then what happened, I made him take shots of uh, Ciroc and then he ended up getting too drunk. Talking about take your shirt off and all this type shit. It's on tape. So I, I, it ain't like you just you just naturally start to think of things. And then I, I, I was thinking. There was this one time. That when my daughter was 16, uh, Jay had a show. And my daughter wanted to go. So I'm like, yo, I'm not going to deprive my daughter. So, I, you know, I hollered at Jay sent the kite and told him I wanted to go to a show with my daughter. And they accommodated me, accommodated me to the fullest. People were really. Before we continue, right? Smash that like button. Do me that favor, y'all. Uh, smash the like button. Sometimes people watch the video and they forget to even hit the like. Smash that like button. But that's very interesting what he said about drink champs. About that, you know, drink champs with Nori over there. Because I watch drink champs. I mean, I've been watching it since it started and all that. Shout out to Nori. But I always thought about that. And I know a lot of people think about that too when they watch drink champs. Like, yo, these niggas be taking mad shots. It be broad daylight. It be 12 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 in the afternoon. These niggas just, I mean, Nori just, just giving it to them. Take a shot, take a shot, pause, take a shot. Like, he's just like making them take shots. 
And I always used to think like, yo, is that he he get commission out of this shit? Like, <laughs> like yo, Nori, like, do you get commission out of every nigga that on your show that take a shot of Sorak? Do you get commission out of that? Because now that Dame Dad speak about this, it's kind of like weird too, to be honest. Like, I understand it called drink chance, but you ain't got to get super drunk. Take a little few shots. You talk about the history of hip hop. You talk about, you know what I mean, whoever's whoever the host is. You, you know what I mean? You talk about his history, all this. I, 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 I. But when Nori be forcing you to take the shots, go back and watch some damn drink chance, man. There's certain plenty of hosts. He, Mike, Ger um, Mike Geronimo. Shout out to Mike Geronimo. I know a lot of people. Older people know who I'm talking about, people my age and probably in their 30s. Mike Geronimo was an old 90s rapper. He was on that show taking mad shots, started crying, feelings coming out. I mean, like, it's something weird about them shots. And I remember a couple people that came on that Nori show. They used to be like, yo, dad, nigga, won't you take a couple shots? And Dame Dash was one of them. But see, it's going back to what I said, though, and what Dame said. These niggas is serving spiked bottles of Ciroc at the drink chats, allegedly. Everything I speak on is alleged. Is these niggas actually doing that? That's why they forced them Ciroc's on these niggas? Is that shit doing it's like, this is something you can actually think about and you sit back and you be like, oh, like, yo, they might got a point on that. Let's continue with this last clip right here, what he talking about. People were really surprised to see me there, took pictures with everybody. I remind y'all, he went to Jay-Z concert, took his 15-year-old daughter, so this is a couple years back. This is what he's talking about. Let's go back. People were really surprised to see me there, took pictures with everybody. But, and again, Emery's my brother, so I would hate to think that he was fucking around like that. Pause. But he kept asking me somebody, that was the first time I had tasted that douce, and I got ridiculously drunk to the extent, and my daughter and I were talking about this the other day, that I was like, yo, I, I don't get this drunk. Why am I so drunk? And I ended up, pause, wrestling with Kevin Hart. He paused nigga got me in a chicken wing. And I remember uh, Vaughn taping that shit. And I'm like, yo, why are you taping, Vaughn? So I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, cause homie makes drinks too. And, and, and again, just if this is true, these are the things that I'm like just reflecting on. And if like if if I wouldn't have played everything completely by the book, complete honor, then I could have been compromised. And what would have happened if I ever woke up feeling some kind of way? Compromised. What would I have done? Mm. Now, see, that's what the reason why I wanted to do this video, right? Smash that like button, man. Do me that favor. The reason why I want to do this video, because I really want to speak about what Dave's speaking on. I'm reacting to it. Like I always do to my videos, I react to everything. But they pushed Dame out the industry for a reason. That part. They pushed him out for a reason. Because I think they thought, I think they knew at that time, because every anybody that grew up off that Rockefeller era, that Dame Dash era, that Jay, I did. I grew up from all that. You know what I mean, I'm 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 at that stage where I grew up, you know what I mean? I'm I'm at that age right there. So I'm at that age racket where I grew up with at that time I was a teenager. The biggie smalls of Tupac, and then going into the late 90s, early 2000s, all that. But my thing is, they pushed them out for a reason. When they wanted Jay Z to be president and be and be like, yo, you gotta dish Dame out of here because Dame Dash wasn't child, he wasn't tolerating none of this shit. He's the type of nigga he walk in the club, he see that shit, he gonna be like, what? What the hell is that niggas doing here? Allegedly. Now I'm not saying Dame Dash is here telling the truth on everything because we're gonna go to a clip now. Remember the pictures they say Dame Dash was at a party, they got him all laid in the bed. This put this one right here. Now, this is one of Diddy parties back in the days. This is like late 90s or some shit like that. Because Aaliyah Live, you see Jay-Z right there to the left. Dame Dash is right next to Jay-Z with the white t-shirt and the brown khakis. You see little Kim in the back with the blonde hair. You see, you see Diddy with the red shirt. 
You see Jennifer Lopez to the right next to Diddy, and you see Aaliyah right there behind Diddy, next to J-Lo. Then that's another photo right here. This is an old, this is an old picture. They've been swarming around the internet now. This is an old Diddy party. This is the one that Dame Dash saying that nigga, we left right after that. Like we left an well, hour later, me and Aaliyah, and we left. That was the first time I actually got with Aaliyah. This is what Dame Dash is claiming. And there's something weird about that hove, man. I don't know, allegedly, man. Hove always felt, I don't know, something weird, man. Because Dame, you see Dame with Elite and Elite, no, I mean, it's just something weird, man. It's something weird. Then you see Dame right there, and no, I mean with Elite. You see Diddy right there. You see Hove right there. Remember, they say that Dame took Elite away from Hove. They say Hove was talking to her, and I guess Elite wasn't feeling him, allegedly. Dame said this shit in plenty of interviews, and him and Elite end up hooking up. And he claimed this is like this is like the first night when they actually hooked up. This is what Dame Dash claimed. Let's go to Dame now. Talk about that night. My my, my thoughts on on Diddy is it's sad. Period. It's just sad and crazy. And shit happened in the Hamptons. I, that's the day I met that 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 me and Aaliyah. You know, we hung out there and then we left, and that's what happened. That was 20 years ago. That was not in L.A. or Miami. But I know they're going to play games with them pictures. It's all good. I don't really care. Yeah. And then check out The Prince of Detroit, a movie I directed, produced, put out in the theaters independently. And now you can watch it on our streaming service, my family streaming service. I, I, my, I, my, my thoughts on, on Diddy is it's, it's sad, period. It's just sad. And crazy. And it's shocking, you know. But she don't want me outside at all. So, uh... Dame claimed. <coughs> now, Dame saying no pictures that we've been seeing on the internet. <coughs> Got him <in> jump. <laughs> Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Dame saying no pictures that we seen. Right. This is in the Hamptons, one of Diddy parties. They ain't claim that that's by one of the few times that he went. That's like by, by, by one or two times he went to Diddy party. And this is the party that he actually, him and Aaliyah left together. And, you know, I mean, the history, I mean, everything. I mean, everybody know the history after that. Him and Aaliyah hooked up until Aaliyah passed away. May a baby girl rest in peace. May Aaliyah rest in peace. But I don't, like, man, it, it's just crazy, man. You see little Kim back there. Dame said he came there with old girl right there, the bunny right there. He came there with Jay-Z also. But he left with Aaliyah. That's what Dame said. He left with Aaliyah after that part. We don't know how to. We don't know, you know what I mean? But we never had no allegations or nobody, no underage girls or nothing coming out on Dame Dash. That's one thing we could say. And another thing we could say, them people couldn't stand Dame Dash. Pause. What are we talking about here? Meeting them people that was up in them when he was in Dev Jam and all them, you know, on um, on the Lior, whatever, and all them people. Like, everybody know the history. Everybody know the history with Dame Dash and all them people that Jay-Z rock with now. They ain't, they ain't like Dame Dash. And now that we see, now that we're looking what's going on with Diddy, we can kind of put two and two together and and figure it out. What's the, That's the reason why they didn't rock with Dame Dash, because Dame Dash was a tolerating that. He's the type that nigga, y'all put me in that part, I'm going to tell all y'all niggas business. That's the type of nigga Dame Dash was back then. If anybody knew the old Dame Dash, that nigga was bugged out. He wasn't gone for none of that. But see, Diddy was because everybody around that time when he got with J-Lo, it was rumors around about Diddy was doing all this back in the days. That's why I say for all the youngest that don't know, it hit the, it hit, it, 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 it hit, it hit them bad right now, pause. The charge came real crazy on Diddy because number one, like I told y'all my old Diddy video, that nigga crossed the wrong people. Number two, they end up pulling that footage out from the hotel when he put hands and feet on Cassie. That's what took the cake right there, too. Number three, this shit been going on since the early 2000s, probably in the late 90s and the mid-90s. It just, there wasn't no goddamn internet, no social media, no phones. It wasn't none of that back then. But as me being a teenager, teenager in the mid-90s, growing up, going in the late 90s, and I mean the mid-90s, going to the late 90s, and all that 2000, growing up, off the bad boy era and all that, there was rumors always about Diddy about this shit. Always. Wendy Williams was like one of the first sources that used to put that shit out. Shout out to Wendy. 
So this, like, it wasn't really a surprise to a lot of us people that we grew up from this bad boy era and Diddy era and all that because that allegation been going on for decades, since back in the days. Tupac even brought this shit up back then when he was alive, that part. But when you start talking about the bottles might be spiked, you got underage girls and all this, that's a whole different ball game now. Man, you getting people drugged up, spiked up off some rock. They having a good time. You turning people into something they don't want to be. Going back to Dame Dash, they kicked his ass out that industry for a reason. They choose Sean because Sean, a.k.a. Hove, wasn't like Dame Dash. That part. Makes you wonder. It makes you think a lot. It makes you think why they why Jay-Z dish, why Jay-Z pushed himself away from Dame Dash also. Because remember, allegedly, they say he got with B, Beyonce, when she was, what, 18, 19 years old? Jay was, like, in his late 20s. Let that man with any y'all bring. Jay was, like, 28. 29 years old, they said. When he was dating Beyonce at 18, 19 years old. Let that marinate, allegedly. Let's continue. Smash that like button. Yo, shit was really going on? Like, cause there, it seems like there's like the general party and then there's the VIP party where all the elite, the, the, so the elite people have to be knowing about what's going on and they're still there, whether they're participating or not. That's a secret. And it must, that. You heard that? Shout out to Dame. I'm telling y'all, yo, they kicked Dame out the industry for a reason. Now that I, cause this is the reason why Dame is talking about this because Dame is sitting back now like, yo, that's the reason why these niggas ain't want me around a lot. That's the reason why they was pushing me away. They doing all this crazy shit in the back end, all these little freak all shits in the back end and they was trying to, and they grabbed my man, pause, they grab hold into that shit. Kick me out. They ain't want me in the industry with them niggas because they knew I wasn't tolerating that. Y'all gotta remember and then the last two people that were standing was these two. Out of that whole era that we grew up on, the Rough Rider era, the DMX era, all that. Bad Boy, you got Diddy. Rockefeller, you got Hove and Dane. Dane was the businessman. Hove was the rapper, but also slash hustler. You hit, see, when, um, what I'm trying to explain to y'all is when that shit went into the 2000s, who was the niggas in the East Coast that was the head honchos in the hip hop in the hip hop on the East Coast section that you actually had to go through pause to get to get you to get some spins or anything? It was Diddy and it was Hove and it was Dame Dash. Before Dame, I'm talking before Dame got kicked out before Rockefeller broke up. Those was the three powerful niggas in the East Coast at that time for a couple of years. When Rockefeller blew up, Dame Dash was the voice. Him and Diddy was back and forth. They was competing. That part, what are we talking about here? But when they kicked his ass out, last two standing. They didn't want to keep a nigga that's loud mouth, going to stay ten toes down on what he speak on, because obviously that's what we've seen, we've seen with Dame Dash for a lot of years. Dame Dash made a couple of mistakes, don't get it twisted, but he stood 10 toes down a lot of shit that he spoke on. He was one of the niggas that I actually looked up to, Dame Dash growing up as a young nigga with the, with the Rockefeller and then came with the dip set. I mean, Dame Dash was that nigga. We're not going to sit back and act like Dame Dash wasn't dropping no knowledge on niggas back then and still dropping knowledge on brothers now. We're not going to act like Dame Dash wasn't telling people to be independent like I am and Hove came with the Rockefeller. We're not going to act like he was impression in Def Jam like, no, nigga. You're not going to put Def Jam in back of our jackets. This is Rockefeller in back of our jackets. We put Def Jam in the bottom somewhere small. We're not promoting y'all. We're promoting our brand. We just signed to y'all. Everybody know who the hell Def Jam is. They're going to know who Rockefeller is. And that's exactly what he did. He made sure everybody in the goddamn world knew who Jay-Z was and Rockefeller. That's why I get mad at Hove sometimes. Because if it wasn't for that man right there, Dame Dash, your ass wouldn't have been with Pauls. You wouldn't be where you at right now. Nah, Smoke, you can't say that. Nah, I could say that. Because if y'all been following their history, their life, 
like I had. Hov is my favorite rapper. But at the end of the day, a lot of labels were shutting Hov down back in the days. That's why they had to start Rockefeller. Because they looked at Hov like an older rapper. They didn't believe in Hov. This is around the Biggie Smalls ever, the Tupac ever, and all this before Tupac died. All Hov was around at that time to let y'all know. He just didn't get his feet in the door. Mob Deep was in Nas and all them. They're already in the door. Queensbridge already in the door. But see, you got to get credit where credit is due. Dame Dad's the one that pushed that door and kicked the doors down. Said, you know what? We're going to do this shit on our own. We're going to build this shit. Not taking nothing away from Jay-Z. But the way Jay-Z did Dame Dash, that's wrong. That's what make me think that Dame da that Jay-Z planted his whole shit at the end. It's going to be me and this nigga at the end, and then this nigga going to go, and I'm going to be on top. And that's what we're seeing right now as we speak. Who's on top? Who's the last honcho? Who's standing on the throne? Who's standing on the throne right now in New York City in the East Coast? That's Jay-Z. You can't make this shit up, man. That's why when people thought that this nigga was hating this the whole 10 years and all day dash, all he hating on because he was Beyonce. That nigga got Beyonce and she was 18 years old. Let's get to that part. What we talking about here? Jay-Z was in his late goddamn 20s, man. Y'all don't see something strange about that? Even though he grown Beyonce, he built Beyonce to what she is now. Remember the infamous video? Now, shout out to all my Beyonce fans. They know what I'm talking about. Remember the infamous video? You can go Google it, go to YouTube. When Beyonce is praising her husband, Jay-Z, telling Jay-Z that you made, me, you made me who I am. You made me a woman, this, that, and the third. That part. What are we talking about here? She was young. <laughs> Makes you think, right? Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go back to Dame Dash. Yo, shit was really going on? Like, cause there, it seems like there's like the general party and then there's the VIP party where all the elite, the, the, so the elite people have to be knowing about what's going on and they're still there, whether they're participating or not. That's a secret. And it must, that kind of secret because, it, it, you know, like you, I heard things, but not that crazy. Not the things that have been admitted to doing, like, you know, not, not Paul's baby oil crazy. Like, I didn't know, you know, like it's just something that was unfathomable to me. The fact that that didn't get out, that means there's a, that's a very secret club. Whoever's holding that secret, they hold it tight to the vest. And I'm like, what other secrets? Like, what deals were made? in those free calls because a lot of the deals that happen, happen in social environments. That's why people go to the club and they hang out all day. Bankers hang out with bankers all day to get deals. Exactly. That's what, yo, shout out to Dane, man. That's the big homie. I don't care what nobody say. Me coming from the East Coast over here, Tri-States, near the city and all that. Yeah, that's one of the niggas I looked up to, Dane Dash. Jay-Z too, don't get it twisted with the Reasonable Doubt albums, all them albums, like, I mean, the, well, all them albums, all them albums Jay-Z can name, all the albums you can name, because right now I'm on, I'm, I'm on the go right now. But my thing is, well, Hov, man, you got to get credit where credit is due, man. You have to, Hov, what we talking about here, champ? If it wasn't for Dame Dash, man, them boys, man, them, 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 them people upstairs in them offices and them, them labels, they wasn't rocking with you. Dame got you in there, man. And I understand, like Hov said in a lot of his songs, people outgrow people, all this. I, I understand that. I'm a Hov fan. I listen to all his goddamn albums. But at the end of the day, champ, the way you did him was dirty. That makes me think that you was part of that. You was part of that Diddy side, that left side over there, what Diddy was doing. They told you about this. That's why this allegation is going around, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. They say, oh, yeah, Hov is next, yo, Hov is next. Why y'all think Hov is next? Let me ask all y'all questions. Let me ask all y'all that question. Why do that? Why do that come across y'all mind that Hov is next? Exactly, cause Hov is a slime ass nigga. Pause. Let's continue with Dame Dash. Could you imagine me going to one of those parties and walking in that room? With, 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 I'd be like, y'all know, where's the pause button? I'd be like, you're in here, you're in here, y'all bugging. What? Oh, I didn't know. That type, they know that I'm not tolerant or 
you know, I don't look the other way. I'd be getting out the way, but I might not be so silent. I, I might not be able to keep that secret of what I saw. If you are around somebody that may be doing something immoral and you might look the other way or might help facilitate it, karmically, you may be considered accountable. I don't think people knew or maybe they were or they didn't know, but I, you know, I'll give people the benefit of doubt. Like, I don't think they thought it was illegal, but it was loose. Okay. Let me tell you something, man. That last clip, smash that like button. Y'all see that thumbs up? Smash that like button. That last clip before this one, when he said these niggas be partying, you got the VIP and all this, that and the third, the leak over here and all this. They there for a reason. They there to be to do business. At the end of the day, that's what they there for. Like he said, you got bankers that hang out. They go hang out. They do business when they hanging out. Niggas meet at the club and all that. Sometimes they do business while they meeting at the club. So what type of goddamn business they was doing in these free calls that Diddy got these alleged people that's powerful allegedly, allegedly, that he allegedly probably got on a video. These are people that he was doing business with, business with and everything. Goes back to Jay-Z. Was Jay-Z in that shit too? I don't know, man. I don't know. When you look at Jay-Z in this goddamn picture right here, look at the whole face in the background. Now, remind y'all, this is what? Early 2000? No, when, this is before Leah died, pardon me. This is around like 99 around there, some shit. But look, look at this nigga face in the back. Tell me y'all, man. And then the coincidence, it was these last two niggas standing all these years later. They ain't want to, they ain't want Dame Dash in them rooms for a reason. They ain't want him in there for a reason, man. Yo, shit was really going on? Like, cause there, it seems like there's like the general party and then there's the VIP party where all the elite, the, the, so the elite people have to be knowing about what's going on and they're still there, whether they're participating or not. That's a secret. And it must, that kind of secret because, it, it, you know, like you, I heard things, but not that crazy. Not the things that have been admitted to doing, like, you know, not, not pause baby oil crazy. Like, I didn't know, you know, like it's just something that was un. Now y'all heard him when he said, I heard things. Dan, I just told y'all this shit been going on since years ago. Before social media, before the cameras on the phone, all this recorded, before all, Dan just told you that. I heard things. You got to remind yourself, Dame been out the game for several years. He really ain't been shaking in the game and rocking in the game, Paul, since the split with him and, on, and him and Hove with the Rockefeller. So we going back, way back. We going back, what, 10, 12 years, 15 years ago when Dame was shaking in the game before the split. He told you right out of his mouth, pause. Y'all heard things, but nothing crazy like I'm hearing now with Diddy and all this and everything. Makes you think with Jay Z and them damn parties. Now, we're not saying Hovers in the free calls. We're not saying that. We don't know. But what you was doing in them parties, Kumbaya, and what, what kind of deals you was doing behind Dame Dash back, back in the days before the split? Makes you think, man. Makes you think, man. This shit makes you think, for real. Like, this shit is getting nasty work. Spike, allegedly Spike bottles of rock, possibility he was doing that. Mm, mm, mm. Rest in peace to Big, man. I know Big seen that shit early before he passed, man. That's why Big was trying to get up out of there. He was going to do his own thing, man. But quick video about this. I want to hear y'all opinion, man. Make sure y'all comment below. I want to hear y'all smoke. What y'all think? What y'all think about Dame Dash? Now, I'm not saying Dame Dash is an angel here. I'm not saying that. I'm not, yo, man, Dame Dash probably was in that shit. We, not, we don't know. The only thing that got is Dame Dash laying in his big ass bed back in the days with Lee and Diddy and Jennifer Lopez and all this. And you see little Kim in the back with that goddamn, with the blonde hair back there looking crazy and shit. We're not saying now, Dame. We don't we don't know what the hell happened back then. I'm only going by what Dame's saying now.
And it makes a lot of sense now that he's speaking on it. And I know he's sitting back like, yo, I didn't even think about it this way. Let me find out they grabbed my boy Hove, man. Did all them deals behind closed doors in these parties and shit. I mean, these little ditty parties that I didn't in the tent before the split. Me and Dame Dash. Because look who's at the end. Look who was at the end. After all this, it was Jay-Z and, uh, and Hove, right? For the last, what, 10, 12 years? Before now this shit happened on um, Diddy? <sighs> they ain't one Dame. They had to get Dame out. Dame wasn't tolerating that shit. <clears throat> I'm up out of it, though. Make sure y'all like that. Um, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Make sure you smash the like button. It's free. It ain't going to hurt. It ain't going to cost you. Make sure you try to get your badge, man. Join Team Smoke, man. Give me your own comment below. I want to hear your, want to hear your opinion below. I want to hear your smoke, man. What y'all think about this? This is bugged out. But I'm up out of it, man. Salute, gang. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. I'm out of it, man. Salute. Shout out to Team Smoke too. Shout out to the members that got Team Smoke badges, man. I'm out of it. Salute, gang.